Baker, what did you make of, of some of the booing there in the second half from the fans? Those are probably the same fans that won't be quiet while we're on offense and trying to operate. So don't really care. Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So this is the quarterback that we are being forced to support. You feel me? Baker Mayfield here in Cleveland is treated like a damn princess. You feel me? Like people rub his ass. You feel me? When he plays bad, when he goes out there and throws them Stevies, when he goes out there and fumbles the rock in the pocket, he, you know he barely does that, but you get what I'm saying? When, when Baker Mayfield go out there and fuck up, you got the whole Browns fan base saying, oh, it's okay, Baker. It's okay. We got him next time. It ain't just Baker's fault. All that other shit, man. You feel me? Anybody trying to hear that, bro? You get what I'm saying, man? Like, yo, Baker Mayfield is not the dude people think he is. This dude is mad at us because he asked. You mad at the best, or should I say one of the best fan bases in the NFL because you asked. Talking about some, those are the same fans that won't shut up when we're on offense trying to drive downfield. You just fucking suck. If we could, if, if we make a noise or not, you still are ass, you feel me? You still be throwing dumb shit. You still are fraud without a run game. When the defense is stinking up and we can't keep on, on up on offense, but they keep scoring because their offense is better. You know what I'm saying? When they up possessions and we need you to win this game, you cannot do that, bro. You need to get better. If you don't want to get booed, you need to be better. And he going to try to play it off like he don't care being on our line. Just throwing us under the bus like we wrong for booing him. Like, bro, I don't think you understand what city you in, bro. We didn't, we didn't see damn near every type of quarterback here. Like, we know what mediocre is. We just sitting here acting like you're not mediocre because we do not want to start over. Trust me, we know that a lot of fans deep down know you not that, that type of dude for real. A lot of fans know you ass for real. A lot of fans know Kevin Stefanski and that O-line, that run game is saving you like they saved you um, Sunday against them Lions. You feel me? A lot of fans know you not like that, bro. We just convince ourselves that you are the franchise quarterback and shit like that because, like I said, we've never had shit, bro. We've never had shit. Never, ever, ever had shit. Especially at the quarterback position, you know? Never had a quarterback. City's so desperate at the quarterback position, we didn't damn near been willing to make Brian Horrier and dudes like that our franchise quarterback. Look at the Colt McCoys. He is supposed to be, he was the next big thing in Cleveland once upon a time. Who, who's the other dude? Um, not Colt McCoy, but um, Brady Quinn was the next big thing once upon a time. Like, we've seen promise for. You feel me? We, 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 we've, we've, been, we've seen all types of QBs, bro. We've been in all types of situations. Trying to revive careers and shit like that. We know you're not that dude. Like I said, we just convince ourselves that you're that dude. Now, the thing about Kevin Stefanski and Baker Mayfield I don't like. I don't like how Kevin Stefanski is not being a man right now. Grow some balls. Put your foot down. And sit that fucking Baker Mayfield on the bench, bro. Baker Mayfield is clearly showing he's not healthy. And as long as he's healthy, he's not going to produce. And you are risking him being out for the rest of the season, bro. You're risking that every week for no reason. I don't care if he wants to play. Who gives a fuck? He's not playing good enough for you to just throw him out there. The offense we run is conservative, bro. You ain't really trying to sling that rock for real. You ain't trying to drop no plays for wide receiver and stuff like that. Kevin Stefanski, you know how you are a conservative dude. You only aggressive on fourth down, bro. Let's be real here. You know we can win with Case Keenum. You've won with Case Keenum. Case Keenum, if I'm not mistaken, is the highest paid backup quarterback, if not one of the most backup paid quarterbacks in the NFL. Why do we let Baker Mayfield do whatever he wants to? He gets hurt every game, hits the sideline, and forces his way back into the game. One time, he ran out the medical tent. Last week, he shoved off the medical officials and ran back in the game when Case Keenum was warming up. You get what I'm saying? Why is he out there? Like, I just don't get it. 
And as long as he's out there, I'm going to continue to criticize him because I have the right to criticize him because guess what? The coaching staff believes he's good to go and they think he gives us the best chance to win. And plus, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of those throws and decisions are not injury related, bruh. They're not. That is him. And that's always been him when he's been asked to step up and consistently deliver in the pocket, drive downfield, and win us the game. He is not that dude. Maybe against trash teams, but shit, the Lions was winless last week, but they are a hard battling team, you know? Plus, Baker's not the first dude playing injured. You got Tom Brady pushing 50 playing with a torn MCL. Quarterbacks didn't play with some fucked up shit, you know? They didn't play with some messed up shit. They didn't play with arm injuries. I've, I, I don't know any off the dome, but they've played with fucked up rotator cuffs and arm injuries and stuff like that. They play with it, and they play better than Baker Mayfield. That's all I got to say, you know? So, with that being said, man, Baker Mayfield, bro, don't get mad at us. Get mad at yourself. Play better. And we won't have no reason to boo your ass. We're a supporter fan base. We want to see everybody win. We want to win a game. You feel me? We a lit fan base. We go crazy for our team. You feel me? All we ask is, it's for you to show up and play good and don't go out there stinking every week. Like, come on, man. We we, we we are tired. You feel me? The only reason why you're not gone simply is because the position we're in right now as a team, it wouldn't make sense for us to start over at quarterback. It just wouldn't make sense, you know? It's the only reason why your ass is still here, and that's the only reason why you might get paid, bro. But other than that, I'm not rocking with you. Not rocking with Baker until he gets better and be consistent and shows that when it's time for him to step up and actually win us a game, he can do it. Until then, he is not that dude, bro. That's all I got to say. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I got some more shit coming soon.